You have to go dark. And what I mean by that is you have to be quiet in your mind. Get away from people. We love being around people. We love talking. We love, we love parties. We love all that shit. It's okay to be alone. It's also okay to be unhappy. It's okay to be unhappy sometimes, man. It's okay to say, you know what, man? I'm, I'm fucked up. So you gotta go to the truth first. Who are you? Get, get really accountable and say, okay, who am I? What's the truth about me? Get to that dark place in your mind. Figure out, it may take months, it may take years. Figure out your purpose. Figure out what you wanna be in life. And then from there, okay, I have my purpose. It may take a long time. No one knows their purpose because it's too loud. Find your purpose. From there, all right, you gotta start planning. People love the planning phase because it's very comfortable. And then from the planning phase, you gotta go to execution. So the execution phase will be all hate because that's where the real work begins and that's when the failure happens and the failure and the failure. So, but you know, that's, that, that's kind of how you have to do it. I pick these hard things that most people think you can't finish anyway. So, you know, you go out there, you grind, you're alone, you're in your own head. I work best alone. I work best alone. So those are easier. You know, I uh, figured out a way to kind of challenge, you know, kind of challenge uh, your mind, channel it and challenge it at the same time. And I figured out a way to kind of just become, have an indestructible toolbox in your mind. So those are easier. Where do I see myself? And then I start making these plans and how I'm going to get there. And I don't deviate from that plan. So that's kind of how I do them now. I mean, it's a lot more to it than that. But it's a lot of quiet time. I shut out a lot of noise. I only have people in my life that, that need to be there. If you don't need to be in my life, I'm not about acquiring more friends. I'm not about noise. I'm about, okay, are you trying to go somewhere? You can, you can jump on board. If not, I don't want to hear all your problems. Do you have a solution for your problem? That's what I'm all about right now. So I'm not about whining, bitching, complaining. I'm about, okay, we need to go this way. So that's the biggest thing. There's always a, a blockade. There's, there, there's a barrier in your brain. There's a barrier. You gotta find out what kind of removes that barrier from your brain. My biggest barrier was my father. And once I removed that barrier, I was free to think. And once I felt good about myself, I was free to put action in. I never felt good about myself. I never felt good about myself. Whenever I would get somewhere, the demon would come back, put me right back in the cage. If you don't go back, like I'm a runner, left knee hurts. A lot of people focus on that fucking left knee. A lot of times it's your fucking right hip. And that's about life. You gotta figure out what has messed you up mentally. Go to the source. Go to the origin of the source. So that, you know, that whole accountability mirror, every single thing I've ever done that's in that book or anywhere else was on my own. Everything. Every, my mom worked three jobs. My, I, I was raised in a town of 10,000 people where the KKK marched in a 4th of July parade in 1995. There wasn't a lot of fucking help. My first car got spray painted near, all over it. And I was, and I, I was so dumb at that time. People say, oh, don't call yourself dumb. I was fucking dumb at that time. That they spelled Niger Niger. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers can laugh. I'm with a lot of white people in here, it's okay. <laughs> and I went to the principal and the principal said, it's all you can tell me. This is what happens, man. This is what happens to me on most mornings. I was 300 pounds twice in my life. So every day I have my shoes laid out because I hate running. People don't believe it. <laughs> Fuck you, I hate it. <laughs> so this is what happens. Every day I wake up out of my fucking bed and there's my shoes. Shirt, my shorts, depending on the weather. And some days I fucking wake up and I just look at the motherfuckers for hours. And then I start walking around the fucking house. And I say, I ain't fucking running today. I'm not doing shit today. Nothing. I don't have to. I fucking did all that shit. 
I need all this shit. I went through all these hell weeks and fucking got my ass kicked all the time and fucking made it. What am I doing this shit for? And that's when I think. I got 2.3 million followers on Instagram. This ain't about you anymore, motherfucker. This ain't about your fucking ranger schools and getting beat as a kid and shit. You have an obligation, not to yourself, but to everybody out there that is touched by what you do as a human being. While nobody knows what I'm doing, no one is videoing me and shit. I am a virtual trainer mentally. Because there's a lot of people out there that say, man, David Goggins is fucking getting after today. And if I wake up one morning and don't fucking do that, I go back to that David Goggins who lied about being who he wanted to be. So my thing that keeps me going every day is my mission in life. While I did not choose it, I'm an introvert and I fucking hate what we're doing even right now is to always stay the fucking course. You man the fuck up every fucking day of your life because you know exactly what it is to not man up. I've done that too many times in my life. So that's what keeps me going. They can. And I get that question a lot. While it helps you, it also hurts you to come from darkness because why it's easy for me to sit back and say, you know what? poopy pants mentality. I'm gonna sit back and let the world take care of me now. And we, that's what I'm talking about, don't play sick too long. While my childhood was so messed up, I played sick way too long and I almost lost tons of opportunities by playing sick. Cause it feels good to play sick. My dad beat the fucking shit out of me, man. I, I couldn't read, I can't read. You know, when I was a junior in high school, I couldn't read. If you lived that life, it feels good for people to, oh man, you know, that's just David, man. He's just not real smart and he had a bad life. And you get a get out of jail free card. That's nice. It sucks doing what I had to do to get here today. That was not fucking fun. That darkness is, not, there's, there's nothing that dark to drive me to the places I had to go to become successful. On the flip side of that, if you come from a Silver Spoon family, you have to realize that. You have to realize, fuck. There's people out there like David Goggins who had nothing, fucking nothing. And I've had all this opportunity in front of me and I'm a loser. I'm not shit. So what does that say about me? The conversations are very similar. You have all this opportunity and you've gone nowhere with it. I'm at the bottom of the barrel and it could take me a lot longer just to get where you're at for the, for the starting line to be fair.